matchup starting right now. The other half of Winter Semis begins with Stride Esports' own Shattuck versus FaZe Fargo. Did you see the uh, the tweet from like five years ago of Cosmos uh, saying, oh, just give Corn time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the prophecy has come through, so shout out to Cosmos, I guess. Yeah. Different, <laughs> different person behind the wheel. Yes. But it's indeed, look, Corn is a frame trap machine, also oh, extremely yeah. safe on shield, but one of the few characters who doesn't really give a damn about you pressuring on shield is Cloud because of that great out of shield option and also yeah. the pressure you can put on himself. Oh, I like, wow, that was actually really sick. Actually getting the jump in the nair out of that too. Potentially, if he didn't get limit, there's a chance that he actually doesn't make it back to stage there. Yeah, one of my favorite things about watching both of these two players is how they're able to see and pick apart your next option so much further ahead than you. You will see them jump out to where you're going in advance almost every single time. And that's going to be very, it, it kind of entertaining to see which one of these two is able to play that chess game better. Yeah. There we go. I like that. Being patient, grabbing out of shield there. Oh, but unfortunately, tried to get him with the up air. And that's the thing, is Korn has a crazy up air. So for Sparkle to get through that with Cloud down there, like, that's actually kind of insane. Yeah. Both of them having great range on those dish joints. Of course, that up air being incredibly good. Back Ooh. air as well. One of the few things Whoa. that can kind of outspace the range from, uh, from Cloud. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> All right, you just jumped right into that, man. But okay. There we go, throwing out some back airs. This is what Corn does, man. Does a really good job of controlling a lot of space. And now Static uh, trying to keep him out, but Sparkle finds a way through with the cross left. We're going to get that fourth throw, poor positioning. Remember, it doesn't take much to get a KO on Corn's recovery if you can push her down just far enough. Yep. There we go, man. Yeah, obviously, Sparkle's been playing phenomenal the whole way through. Still holding on to the stock, getting these mix ups using the grabs as well. You know, not just trying to land on a shield, but like a spaced out back air. And he's doing an amazing job here. 74%, 87. Now he's control of the stage and limit on deck. This is terrifying. Here we go. Gonna keep that damage up and uh, oh damage of. Oh my god, what? What? Why? You saved them. But what for? And you want. Oh, no, okay, you got the stock. But what for? <laughs> okay, listen. Honestly, Sparkle deserved to lose that stock, but how did that hit? We don't, she needs it. She needs it. She doesn't, <laughs> she, she might, she doesn't need it. She doesn't need it anymore. Back here is going to get the job done, though. You see, the uh, kind of just uh, could see to that. Like, okay, you got it. I got to be more careful about that at the ledge. But Spargo, even though giving up that stock, still a very comfortable lead. Yep. All right, there we go. Both of them taking their time. I like that. Doing the turnaround, uh, fall, falling up here to actually catch him with the back hit of that. That was actually really well done. And now, honestly, a, a nice little bit of damage. 73%. Ah, finally take some damage here. 22. It's a little bit rough. <laughs> that was that, such a, that was okay, a weird. That was look, weird. That that is, it's such a smart option, but also, why does she need that? <laughs> Just go ahead and pop away off a of shield. If it hits, great. If it doesn't, you get out of there. We're looking at 109%. Look at how Shattuck is bringing us all the way back. That back air comes through, and Shattuck pushes us to the last stock. I am going to be honest, though. The best time to use corn up smash is when your opponent's not near you. So that was actually really smart by Shattuck. <laughs> but anyway, getting into this last stock scenario, game one still. This is a big opening. That's going to be a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't get the conversion. Yeah, it doesn't get any of the other follow-up off of that. But you find a falling there or something pretty soon, which is what Shattuck is kind of looking for. That's going to yeah. be a swift dash attack punish. You can't get away from that on Cloud. And using the Nair to actually just dissipate the Blade Beam and get back to stage without any extra damage. But, I mean, this ledge trap is a little bit tough. Static trying to battle their way back on. Oh, there we go. He gets a grab. Oh, waste that limit oh, immediately. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh no. my god. Do not air dodge down in front of that. You will die. <laughs> He's going to go ahead and get back up to the top of that platform. Up tilt's going to stop that Nair and a yeah, big hit to your up smash. Come on, Static. You know you shouldn't be doing that in front of him. Does he find a way back? Yes, the recovery will find their way there. 137, that's a lot of rage, by the way. The pin at the at ledge, that was, this, this should get it. Yeah, that was really good, considering Spargo's uh, conditioning at ledge has been near perfect. But Cross Slash, up he out of shield, are both sitting there. Available options if Shattuck gets a little bit misspaced. That downer will just do it, though. Even with the delay coming in from Shattuck, trying to play around that, Spargo seals the deal on the first game. I thought it was a spike. I thought it was going to be too. I was like, cool. He got the spike and then Shattuck just flew. It don't, it don't matter where you, you get hit. You know what? It doesn't matter. I guess he had enough damage on him. It don't matter where you get hit by clubs down there. It's going to do something bad. And Aspargo, uh, even with giving up that stock we mentioned before, it was a pretty uh, stressful situation, but it didn't end up leading to um, him losing that game. So Shattuck has had quite a few times, actually, where in sets, may lose the first game. But definitely a very strong second game player. A lot yep. of things learned from the first one. And even in that recent set uh, where Shattuck was able to win at Cirque, was behind against Mutix. Mutix was playing phenomenal, but Shattuck adapted. So we'll see what happens here in game number two. Yep. We're going to go right. to Hollow Bastion. I like that because 
looking at that last game, how often was Shattuck able to play around that platform with the pin? Let's see if we try to get that here on this stage too. Yes. Uh, I feel like there's definitely quite a bit of like, I don't know, he just wasn't able to get that side V, uh, you know, and I mean, he did take a couple stocks with it, right? Uh, in a couple of weird scenarios, but I feel like it just wasn't able to be utilized as strong as it could have been. Yep. So we'll definitely see if that happens more in this game too. That platform will definitely help a lot. And as you can see, Shattuck looks pretty locked in. Fargo looks pretty locked in, but we'll see if you can even hey, this remember, up. no matter what, if you got a game, you got a chance. That was only one. You still got four to go potentially here as we get into game number two. It's going to be Hollow Bastion as the counter picks. Shattuck already going to that top platform to see if maybe he can get a drop through, but Spargo not really going to fall for that. Mm. Big damage as well for Spargo. Spargo gets so much maximized off of any platform situation you give to him. Yep. Oh, okay. Landing down, but we've got the parry out of that as well. Okay, gets a little bit of something started, but Spargo finding their way out of that. Knowing when to end your turn is very important too. Spargo uh, was ready and willing to punish any type of aggressive play there from Shattuck. Shattuck pull, uh, smartly backing off. Yep. There you go, back arrow. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, I was You know what? I, I respect what he was going for out there, and then the limit just disappeared at the very end. It sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah, I always looked at player camps too after that happens, and well, Spargo just kind of like, damn. But that, it is what it is. It happened, you let it go. Has 135% here. Spargo probably going to get rid of this stock on the back here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. There we go. Rapid jab, putting on some additional damage. The 13%, nothing crazy, right? Nothing to write home about. But oh my goodness, dude. Shattuck just keeps going. This is so much now. All of a sudden, 51%. And you got a lot of rage here, AJ. Yeah, what, what was just a mistake and kind of a damn moment. All of a sudden, leading to 51%. But the dash attack does finally put a stop to that. Yep. And there we go. Ah, oh, the Blaze does find a way through. OK, no, he would have been fine. He's only at 9%. Let's settle down. I'm just saying I would not be surprised to see uh, Spargo go off stage and try and oh, steal that double out, dip it? Yeah. yeah, he definitely would. Yeah, like he hits the forward air, falls down with the down air. Yeah, why not? But speaking of downers, that footstool dare on a shield working out pretty well for Spargo. Still holding a small lead here. We're going to get up to 100%. So now we're at those back air kill ranges. Nope. And there. Oh, wow. Lift. Great DI from Spargo. I thought that was going to be it. Yeah. But 123. Should be able to just kind of sneeze at him at this point and be able to take this out. Puts him right off stage. That's huge. He's got to use the limit. Yeah, I believe he still has this jump. Yes, he does. So he's able to get back to stage comfortably. But getting thrown once again. Up there might do it now. Not enough just yet. Another one will do it, though. Oh, uh, yeah, but that was scary, though, getting around Corrin <laughs> in the jump. What the? See, and that's why Cosmo stopped playing Corrin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that is what it is. But 173, you just got to hit him at this point. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of there with that back air. Let's see what happens. A uh, back air coming through as well from Spargo. So Shattuck with this lead, not able to close this out. Fargo holding on to 173%, refusing to relinquish that whatsoever. And that recap wow. getting punished, but no death just yet. And that will close it. Ah, uh, that was actually really smart. Catching him out of the back here. So that little bit of the end lag towards that. Got him in the blade beam. And I'll take it to stock it. Hey, you know what? We love a little bit of charity. All right, so we like, love a little bit. Yeah, now we got like three. So what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Spargo uh, get, doing his best to keep Shattuck in the game multiple times. And, and look, classic saying, we take those. And that frame trap coming through, more damage adding up. Uh -oh. Do we get, w w if you get the air dodge, you find that pin. But Shattuck refusing to let no. him touch the ground. Now, this is the issue. We've been seeing Shattuck do a great job of racking up damage. But it's been difficult to close out the stock early. That was a little terrifying. Yeah. I was a little bit terrified there. Yeah, and it doesn't matter whether you won or someone helped you win. You take that W every day of the week. Going for a fourth ah! Whoa! Whoa! No Whoa! way! Whoa! Whoa! You are so smart for that. Because that was the steal of the game. I am looking at the crowd and there are so many different looks. I'm seeing head bobs like, yeah. M MVD's face is literally, yo. That was crazy. So that's like twice today that we've seen a counter close out a game. Yeah. In a situation you never usually see counter get thrown at this. Okay. Like, you, you know listen. What? Listen. <laughs> I like how I like how Shattuck got, got the dub and then put the hand up like, I can't believe that worked. Like, <laughs> but Shattuck still gets the W, of course. Again, we mentioned it before. A lot of the best players, even when they win, they're still a little frustrated because they want to close it out cleaner, you know? And Shattuck knows that that game could be a lot cleaner. So that's one that on the board. Crazy, you got to go ahead and clean it up. But Spargo, that is no two that SDs and essentially a trade off of a stock from game one. Can't let those continue. My head hurts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My brain hurt. 
It's been a lot of great, a lot of great gameplay. Time here. for a Honestly, look, it reminds me a lot of like when I was first playing Smash Bros. You play the character with counters so you can beat up your brothers easy. Yeah, because <laughs> everybody keeps smashing buttons. <laughs> yeah. But man, dude, it's actually, I don't know, it's, it's crazy to just see two counters that made like such a big impact on these sets. But as we get into game three here, another game three for us, AJ. And we're yeah. right back to PS2. Everything's Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we'll, we'll go ahead and cash it in. Makes Whoa. the best games. We <laughs> right now we got game number three here. Both of them trading off a ton, trying to get that early lead. Yep. Oh. Okay. All right. A little bit of a jungle scenario here, getting some damage, a couple up airs, and now they're trying to chase him down. Utilize the extra speed on this limit as well. I think they are whipping. And finally, we see that kick come through. And man, they've just been trading the lead back and forth here. Yeah, you can see it in the body language. Both of them very intense right now. Not going to go for the down air instead, trying to cover the aggressive option off stage. But Spargo not closing it back here at least gives them a good position. Do we get the down air this time? The answer is no. Yep. All right. <laughs> he just stood there and just let him go to center stage for free. And actually got a nice little punish with that forward tilt. So honestly, well played. And a little bit of a DBZ moment, but Spargo takes the first stock. Yo, and the, okay, the footstool tech chase to get the throw to look for a follow-up. Do we close it out off the back here? No, instead trying to go for a side B, and Spargo racking up the damage. Oh, you can keep going. You can uh -oh. absolutely keep going for that. Tries to get the spike, and yes, you do! As Spargo does not let that one singular mistake get away. That was spicy. That was very spicy. That was actually really upsetting. That actually can really hurt your mental moving forward, too. Especially in a scenario like, where you just took a game, and now you're potentially getting three stocked here, depending on how you know nice, nasty Spargo wants to get. Uh, yeah, you got to be very careful. I will say I have seen Shattuck make some incredible comebacks, but this one is going to ask for a lot, as Spargo is just playing as perfectly as you can ask for ever since that spike, and also just in general here in game number three. Ah, uh, I like that, though. The up throw will do it. You don't see that too often, but at that percentage, almost anything will take Cloud out. All right, pretty much everything for Spargo is to prevent falling up air from happening. That's where a majority yes. of the damage is going to come in. As from, you see right from, there. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not letting it happen. You throw me, and that's it. All right, there we go, the back air, putting them way off stage. All right, got a little get back to ledge, you know, not going to utilize any of those resources to try and close it out. The forward tilt once more coming out here, looking for the down air, not going to get the connection he needs, but the up smash will do it as we take a 2-1 lead here for Spargo. You can afford to do that as well. You're only at 10%. You have limit uh, available to you. You do not need to worry about if you whiff that up smash, you're probably not dying. At best, you're taking at least 40. So very smart of Spar uh, Spargo, knowing the situation's worth it, going out there, closing out what was a dominant game number three. Does Shattuck have the answers going into the game four? Right now, you're asking for a lot because that was an, not only an incredible play in stock two, but just incredible play, period, from Spargo in that game. Mm -hmm. Man, what do you do here as Shattuck? Like, what stage do you go to? Like, what's your, what's your mental going in right now? It, because, I mean, if you lose this, you go down into the loser side of bracket, right? Your run's not over, but you have to take on life. In my and playing Fox, by the way, who's great at rushing down yeah. sorties. Yeah, well, also, Corrin hates that matchup. In my view, I think small battlefields to play. I think we cut down the distance because Shattuck has not had a lot of uh, room to work with. Actually, it's not going to be small battlefield. It'll be battlefield. But we're going to cut that distance down a little bit from uh, Spargo because he had too much room to reset neutral, too much time to go ahead and get away from falling up airs and just kind of see it coming too early. So Spargo going to bank it all here on battlefield. Game number four facing loser's side of bracket, depending on how Spargo answers with this new counter pick. Yep, we got a nice song here, Abyss of Time coming through. I mean, Tekken music's good. It's real good, bro. Love anyway, it. a great, honestly, I think a great counter pick for Shattuck in the process as well because Corrin does a really good job of controlling that center area. So center stage is a huge spot for Shattuck to be in. Yeah, Corrin just loves the stage fear. There's so much you get off of that. Of course, not going to find that tech roll to the left. Instead, it's just going to be a get up from Spargo. No yep. follow up there either on the tech roll in. I thought that up tilt might hit. And the thing is, well, I mean, the up tilt, like, it's such a weird one because most sorting up tilts covers a wide arc, but it's more like just a little spin. So a little bit rough, but it is what it is. Yeah, Spargo utilizing that top platform himself very well, just going for the climb hazard by itself, getting up, kind of just resetting neutral pretty much every time and lining up these down airs and just going. When was the last time you saw just a straight up F smash from Cloud out of Spargo to see out of stock? Uh, actually, at, at King Kong. Oh. <laughs> I, saw, I saw Spargo do it there, too. <laughs> All right, then, not that long ago. <laughs> not that long ago for me, no. But it is rare. It yes. is rare. We don't see it too often. But when a cloud is really feeling themselves, they throw that out, and it's almost a stock guarantee. 
And right now we're looking at 33%. Not too bad here. Looking for the falling upright and going for the mix up on up smash. It's been a little while since we've seen that show up. And there you go. Gets the kick. Put him way off stage. Ooh, tried to catch him on that ledge with that pinpoint forward smash. Unfortunately, not going to be able to find it. The up air not going to be enough here either. 152. Smartbro uh -oh. perfectly content to go to a platform instead of the ledge because kind of just knows that reacting with DI on these up airs has been the, the, the thing he needs. Looking for a cross up on DI there, but actually pretty much going nowhere. And no punish there on the parry uh -oh. either. This is pretty big for Spargo. There was a the potential that we saw a finishing touch there. Oh, but the sliding forward tilt. Ah, that's going to be enough to take out that stock. And man, Spargo up strongly once again. Again, this is another position where you're asking for a lot. You can see it's kind of wearing on uh, Shattuck as the camera continues to show. A little bit of frustration, but you just got to lock in right now. You're behind a whole stock. You got to get it together if you want to get through this mental fortitude that Spargo has at the moment in game four. Yep. All right, there we go. Get some of those falling up airs in the process. But <laughs> Spargo saying, look, I know you got your falling up air, but I got a few up airs up myself. And then there we go, 93, 103% now, AJ. This is a very scary spot for Shaq to be in. This could be the end of the run on winner's side. Yeah, the answer, oh, tries to Whoa. go for it there. <laughs> Falling back down, Spargo not getting punished either. So Shaddock not able to get the damage on the table to where it was available at that moment. And we're going to get the Tomahawk. Even though it doesn't kill, it's just going to lead to that much closer of a game. And that f tilt will Whoa. finish it as Spargo dashing back, repositioning into the f tilt, And we will see Spargo going up against Onan in winner's finals. That, that air dodge back to stage for the mix up into the forward tilt was so nasty. That was actually really, really gross. It was also really sick. Yeah, <laughs> not, not something you see too often, but that reposition is so perfect because again, what do you lose in that scenario? You're up so much. You don't really need to worry about if you get hit in that position. We're gonna see it here, Dude, fourth throw. This. Send them back off stage, jumps back up. I'm just gonna fade back because you thought that I was gonna press a button That's there and crazy. you got aggressive looking for a big play. Spargo taking full advantage of that. And even if you do get hit, you take a max of about 50% if Bro. Spargo gets the, or excuse me, if Shadow gets the right hits. Gotta got your ankles broken here. I'm gonna I'm be honest. Jesus, that just Yo. missed too. Like perfect spacing on it. Incredible job from Spargo. He ruined his threads. <laughs> yeah, de definitely creased the sneakers oh on that one. Oh, man. No, I mean, the sword, like, cut cut his little cape thing or whatever. I know, but he also, like, bent down. Yeah. He likes to with the shoes. That was crazy, man. That was terrible. But right He's now, not wearing Jordans. Don't worry about it. He can't afford it. But right <laughs> Cloud cannot afford Jordans. The Cloud does not have Confirmed. that type of money. Confirmed. <laughs> no money. A shout out to SkyJ, by the way, giving us uh, the, 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 the waves. Oh, kind of took me out. But again, thank you everybody who's been enjoying this so far. That is the first six matches of this, but that means we still have another six to go. We have our determined spots.